what I would like to do is talk about the state of action stars, because basically the idea here is that, you know, there's this new wave of action movies that are replacing like the old guard, like Schwarzenegger, Stallone, all these guys. Uh And like, when you think about action stars and think about the eighties action stars, you know, Schwarzenegger, one of the biggest Mm -hmm. movie stars of all time, uh, Sylvester Stallone, um, Jean-Claude Van Damme, to a certain extent, um, uh, what do you call him? Um, Steven Seagal. Um, and then you could probably lump Will Smith in there at a certain well, point. So, but, but, so, so all those, all those guys you just said, yeah, those are eighties and nineties action stars. We're in 2020s now. So, uh, what was that? That was I, my, I, that was my boot. But was, <laughs> so like, there's this new era of action movies coming up. Right. right yeah. But in, in, but in the 2010s, it was like Vin Diesel, the rock, <laughs> You know, in 2000, in in that era, like what, 10 years ago or so, 2010 to 2013, 14, 15, whatever, all they had was expendables, right? It was all just the old 80 stars coming back. Old guys. Yeah. The old 80 stars coming back. You had, you had uh, uh, a Scott Eastwood in there. Sure. I guess. Who? Scott Eastwood. Clint yeah. Eastwood's son. Yeah, no, but he's in movies sometimes. Okay. Well, he's in movies. So, like, who do you say are like the current big action stars? So, you, you uh, obviously so got Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, uh, The Rock. The Rock. Would, would would you consider Chris Evans to be? In that? No, because he's only Captain America. He's not. Yeah, I mean, he was in the Gray Man, but that movie wasn't that great. Well, well, I am, he was I, also in Ghosted. When, when's his Commando movie coming out? Yeah, he's, he's not a know, he's not like a lone warrior like, like old eighties movies. No, not at all. Like Chris Hemsworth in Extraction and Extraction when's Two. His, are, when's, are, when's his When's his Cyborg movie coming out? You, you yeah, he's not, he doesn't fit the bill. No, he really. I mean, he's a good action actor. He's an actor, but he doesn't some action. But he doesn't movies. lead his own franchise as no. far as like an action franchise goes. So like he's in the Avengers. He's so Captain so like, America, so like back fun. in the eighties. Would you, you say had, like Jason Statham, Chris Pratt? Uh, Chris no, Pratt. Jason no. Statham doesn't doesn't lead movies. He's a but, he's a side character. No, no, like he leads tons of movies. Listen, like the he transporters. Was just, he was just in the Meg too. Oh, okay. the Meg doesn't uh, those, count. Listen, those Crank. are a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Crank movies. might count. Listen, Crank man, might. back in the eighties, you had these actors who you could guarantee a certain amount of box office just by putting their name, Tom on, Cruise, putting their name on the poster. And that's Stallone. That's that's so that's uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, um, Van Dam. You know, Seagal. These guys all had a guaranteed type of box office that, mm-hmm. that the studios could bank on just by putting their name on the poster. And I don't know. You know what's interesting about that? There's really not a lot of those guys that are out there like that. Now Tom today. Tom Cruise fits that bill, but he's like a leftover from the 80s and 90s. Because yeah, he's yeah, 90 you, years you, old. You can't lump him in with like no. modern day action stars because he's still from that, he's like, that 80s era. Yeah, yeah. He's from yeah. the 80s. But someone like Batista. Batista, maybe, uh, but he's yeah. not, I'm not seeing him star in any kind no. of headlining movie. He's always a side character. Like he was in uh, Blade Runner 2049, but he was a side character. Yeah, he, he was in. He was in, in, in James Bond. Short part of time. Yeah, he was in James Bond, but as a bad guy, he's like a henchman. He's basically like the jaws of uh, what was that Spectre? I think. Would Would you consider Jason Momoa a, an action? Uh, star? Yes, I, would, I would. I but... would. I would like to see him in more things, though. But he's headlining. So he was in that movie. What was that movie on? Was it Netflix or something that was called like Jersey Girl or not Jersey Girl? What was it? What was it called? Something I Baby Girl or whatever. Something. But he really wasn't in that. But movie he, that does, much. he doesn't have that pool. That <sighs> not quite. That they need not yet. quite. He could. He could. He's he's kind of been. What about John Cena? Uh, he's getting again, there. He's working again, on it. Um. Yeah, I would say John Cena's working on it, but he's yeah. not there yet. You, you you know they they need their signature character series. They need a Rambo. They need a a, a Total yeah. Recall Liam, or, Liam, or something. Liam, Liam something. Neeson is still is he's a leftover of the '80s as well. Like yeah. even even his movies like the Taken franchise. Those are all cool action movies but yeah. he's not I wouldn't count him as a modern action star because he's left over from like a bygone era it's like when, like when, when, I, when I think of Stallone I immediately think Rambo right what about Schwarzenegger Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, Terminator? Schwarzenegger I think Terminator Predator. I, th- I think Predator. Predator I think Commando but but you know Schwarzenegger I just think Schwarzenegger Running Man I don't, I don't have Bruce, to have Bruce Willis was another one right? yeah Bruce right? Willis Bruce is another Willis one, is another good one. Well, he's not doing movies anymore he uh, retired what about Keanu Reeves would you consider him uh, I mean he's yeah. been in some of the biggest action movies yes. of the past but I decade. would consider him an action star uh, for but sure he's, he's on the tail end of, the 80s, of his yeah. career but Keanu is just Keanu Keanu it's like, it's like, it's like here's the thing well, Ke- with, Ke- with, the, with the 80s and the 90s action stars all you gotta do is have their last name on the poster 
mm-hmm. Keanu and Reeves, people will show up. Schwarzenegger, Stallone. Um, you know, these guys sell tickets. Yeah. They sell tickets on their name brand alone. I don't think there's a guy like that now. Hemsworth. Ex- Hemsworth is almost there. He's but the, here's the frustrating thing about Hemsworth. He's semi-retired now. Is he? He's yeah. like he's got some issues. He's got some he's got medical some, issues. He's got some health issues. You know? That he oh. that he's like taking a break. Wait, 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 wait. Are these the health issues that he discovered while filming yes. his limitless thing? Yes. Really? And he's and he's like, <gasps> we're we're at we're these movies that are coming out with him in it. Yeah. Are the tail end of his oh what that he wants bums to do. me out. He man. wants to go raise his kids. Oh, fair he enough. He wants and that's and that's fine. Fine. Yeah. But, but but if he was to keep going, he could absolutely be. All the, the yeah. next he super needs, actor star. What, what, what about Henry Cavill? I know we haven't seen we, him. Well, he absolutely he, he, could. He needs to do something. Yeah, he could easily step into that role with the right, like maybe what do you think? Two movies would be enough to to solidify him. I, as, I, I mean, like if his Warhammer movie comes to fruition, like that could be the thing that see. And, and, yeah. and, and the problem that Hemsworth has, and it's like the chat is saying, these movies that he's an awesome, awesome action star in, these aren't theatrical movies. All streaming they're, they're, services. They're being released on streaming services, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is which is bad. Hey guys, if you like this podcast, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and comment below on your favorite video as well. That goes a long way with helping us boost our channel and get out there in front of more people. And it lets uh, YouTube know that we're doing something right. And if you want to catch us live, we go live two times a week, once on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time and on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So join us there in the chat. We will see you on the live stream. Stay salty.